<laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by saying, hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So I don't know why this is here, but I can't get it to go away. And <laughs> I guess it's just going to be a part of my head during this video. So it's from the first bolo I'm going to share. For some reason, it like locked on my screen. It's very random and very weird, and I can't get it to go away. Um, and I've already got my tabs pulled up, so I guess we're just going to have to look at it. I don't know. Maybe it'll go away during the video. I guess we'll see. Anyway, this is a bread and butter bolo video. And I'm going to share with you items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. That's what I call my bread and butter. And these are items that I picked up at thrift stores, YouTube auctions, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook marketplace. I am a full-time reseller. And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And let's get started. Oh, it's still there. Ah! Sorry, guys. Never had this happen. Golly, I guess I'm glad it's just in this video. I've done quite a few other videos tonight. As you'll see, I'll be wearing this shirt in like 10 videos. Okay, um, let's start with the first item, which is the elves. Um, they're flocked. They're super cute. It comes with this little flocked train. Um, they're adorable. I got these at a thrift store. I paid about 50 cents for them. Oh, it went away. Yay, it went away. Um, I'm so happy. I thought it was going to be there the whole video. Okay, so let's go back over here. Yep, it's gone. Sweet. Okay, sold for $21.24. The buyer paid shipping. And yes, anything flocked. I'm guessing these are probably made in Japan, um, but I don't think they had the sticker. The next item I sold is this Salvatore Fergamo for women. It's a perfume, perfume, oh, I might be saying that wrong, EDP. <laughs> and I pick these up at garage sales and thrift stores all the time. I usually pay a buck or less. This one sold for $25.50, buyer paid shipping. These items do have to ship ground, so make sure that you um, ship them ground. The item that I sold next is this vintage Hobbyland. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Um, it's like this horse. And this came in a mystery box. It's really, really neat. Uh, really neat uh, piece. It's an ornament. And it ended up selling for $18.69. And the buyer paid shipping. And it sold pretty quickly. So really, really cool. Um, I think it's an ornament. I don't see the string. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's an ornament. I don't see the string though. Okay, the next item I sold is really creepy, but it's from uh, Goosebumps. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that series. It's like uh, the vintage Goosebump books do really well. So when I saw this and I found out it was Goosebumps, I figured it would do decent. It's um, a vintage candy container. And I sold this for $16, best offer. Buyer paid the shipping and I picked this up at a garage sale. And I've talked about in the other videos, this tote that sat in my basement for like a year and a half. And it was just full of vintage toys and I just never got to it. And I decided to list the items in that tote this year. This is one of those items. So I've definitely done really well with that tote. Uh, the next item I sold is this vintage 1993 Cat's Meow Nativity Scene. If you follow my channel, you know that I picked up a bunch of cat's meow items at a garage sale. I think it was like three boxes full for like $30. And I mean, hundreds. So I probably got about 10, 15 cents in each one if I had to guess. Um, I sold this for $29.74 and the buyer paid shipping. And I pretty much, that pretty much paid for all of it. And we'll just say these two paid for all of it. This is the uh, Cat's Meow. It's from Lionelville. It's the Lionel series of these. And it's just a block signal like this thing. It's got the cat. And it's just like this big. Here, I got a picture right here. Two and a half inches. Itty bitty. Um, I did take a best offer of $9 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold came in a mystery box and it's the Peanuts Snoopy Bowling Set. I almost didn't list it because it was kind of bulky, um, but I'm glad I did because it sold super fast for $15.30 and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, 
This is one of those items that I feel like it would do well on Poshmark because of the shipping costs. But um, I do start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. I use an extension called List Perfectly and um, it helps me cross post my items fast and saves me tons of time and time is money. So it is worth every penny. I highly recommend it. I've been using it for over a year. If you want to check it out, there'll be a video at the end of um, like a thing that'll pop up at the end. And it's also in the description of my video that tells you it's like a demo of how I use this perfectly. And if you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with a referral coupon code Bolo Buddies. That's all one word. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me in my Facebook group. That link is down in the description also. And again, I'm not like a pro master at it. I don't use every feature, but I use it how it works for me and I love it. Um, so yeah, definitely check out that demo video. All right, so this is an animal planet, uh, Styrosaurus. I don't know what kind of dinosaur that is, but that's what he looks like. <laughs> but he lights up and has sound. He's from Toys R Us and he does work. And I got him at a garage sale for like, I don't know, 50 cents or a dollar. And I sold it for $14 best offer buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this turtle head repositioning beanie hat prevents flathead syndrome medium and it's new old stock. Um, I don't know. It sold super fast, but the person opened a return because it said that it didn't fit their child. And I'm like, well, did you take it out of, cause it's attached to the package and they never ended up returning it. So I don't know what happened with that, but I was happy they didn't return it. I mean, who likes returns? Not me, especially if they use the item. Um, with everything going on right now, it's like, I definitely don't want somebody touching a brand new item. And then, I don't know, just with the virus, I don't think it's really a big surface thing like they first suspected, but I don't know. It was new and I just wanted it to come back to me new and I don't think it was going to. So I'm glad they didn't return it. I got this at a thrift store for $2. Like I said, it sold quickly for the full asking price of $21.25. Buyer paid shipping and comparables on these items were very good. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item I sold is this retired Boyd's Bear and Friends. It's Pauline Rabbit. She had her tags. I got her at a garage sale for a buck and I took a best offer of 13 buyer paid shipping. This one, this one was long tail. A lot of them are, but I do really well with Boyd's plush. I pick them up all the time if I can get them for a dollar or less. This one I'm really surprised did not sell sooner because it was super cool. I have a video down in the description. And if you don't know how to put videos into your um, listing, uh, let's see. You click on it and it's gonna take them over to my YouTube channel. Check it out. I mean, it skates, it roller skates. It roller skates. So um, yeah, I probably need to, I need to close it or we're gonna be listening to that. Okay, so that's, I have a video that tells you how to add a video to your listing. So if you guys have animated things, I definitely recommend putting a video in. It's super, super easy. But each one of these characters did something and they were super cool. And it did not sell quick like I thought it would. And they only sold for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. So I don't know, I thought it would do better, but I got them cheap, so no big deal. The next item I sold is this Little People Mickey Mouse house playset. This came in a mystery box. I took a best offer of $15 buyer paid shipping and it sold super fast. No figures with that one. I can't remember where this came from. I think it was like at a garage sale and a bunch of stuff that I got and it's a tie box. It's a vintage Christmas tie box. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna try and list this and see what happens. And it sold super fast. I couldn't believe it. It sold for a best offer of $9, buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Hallmark 1996 baby's first Christmas ornament. This also sold quickly. I picked it up at a thrift store for 50 cents and it sold for $16 buyer paid shipping. The next item came in a mystery box. These are little glass egg shaped um, mini glass eggs, I guess. Uh, another item that sold very quickly and they sold for full asking of $28.70 and the buyer paid shipping. 
This is a VTech Activity Desk Expansion Pack. It um, it fits, the it's these things and they fit on this thing. And I saw this at a thrift store and I paid two bucks for it. And I was like, I think that'll sell pretty quick. And it did, it sold for $30 buyer paid shipping. This is an old world Christmas dog cat ornament. I've done pretty good with the old world Christmas ornaments. I can't remember where I got this one. It was either a garage sale or a mystery box, but it sold for a best offer of $22 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item came in a mystery box and these are New England Christmas Tide set of three audio cassettes. Again, not something I would typically list, but it came in the mystery box. The mystery box, if I remember correctly, was kind of a dud. And I was just trying to like pull a few things out to make my money back. Uh, sold quicker than I thought for $14 buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage colorful ties. These were so long tail. Uh, maybe I should have sold them separately. Maybe I shouldn't have bought them at all. I don't know. But I finally sold them for $16.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I did get these at a garage sale a huge box full for five bucks. So I've got pennies in them, but either way, um, I don't know. Ties are tricky. The next item I sold is this Tanjore India necklace. It's a bib necklace. It's a statement piece. It came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Super cool piece. I took a best offer of $27 and the buyer paid shipping. And I ended up getting 344 pounds of jewelry for less than $200. And if you want to hear about that, I do have a video where I went and picked it up. I have a video where I weighed it and I have tons of unboxing videos. So definitely very cool. The next item I sold are these clip on earrings. I took a best offer of $10. These came from a garage sale, buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of a mystery box and it was kind of big and bulky and awkward, but it sold really fast. It's a little Tykes piggy bank and it sold for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage ERTL Ford 4000 toy tractor is, you can see it's got some paint loss. It's not in great shape. It looks like it was played with outside. And I got this at a garage sale for two bucks and it sold very quickly. And I took a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think there was something about the grill of this one, the front that maybe made it harder to find. I can't remember. The next item I sold is this vintage McCoy pottery. I called it an orange candy dish. Great for Halloween or Thanksgiving. I don't know. I guess you could use it for whatever you wanted, but it does say McCoy on the bottom. And I did put the measurements here. And I took a best offer of $30 for this and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a garage sale and I, I want to say it was a couple bucks. The next item came from a YouTube auction. It was a fundraiser. So um, it was a bunch of vintage Fisher Price items. I do have a video where I unboxed it. Um, would I have typically paid what I paid for this lot? No, but because it was a fundraiser, I just wanted to, um, I was willing to bid up more. I knew that I would make most of my money back, if not all of it, and maybe a small profit, but it was more about the fundraiser. And I did do an unboxing if you want to see what else I got. But um, yeah, I sold it for $16.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Indiana glass bunny. I picked this up at a thrift store for $2.50. It sold for $15. Um, would I pick it up again? Probably not because I hate shipping glass. But um, margins were okay. But uh, yeah, it was all right. I was hoping to make a little more. The next item I sold are these vintage Asian Japanese die cut bookmarks. They're really, really neat. Um, it was kind of a long tail item, but I picked these up at an estate garage sale and I got them really cheap, probably 50 cents. Um, they did sell for $12.74 and the buyer paid the shipping. So there are some bread and butter bolo items for you guys to be on the lookout for. There's going to be some videos popping up. Um, right here is going to be the list perfectly I was telling you about if you want to check out how I use it. Like I said, it saves me so much time. Time is money. Um, so I recommend it. Plus, when you get your items on other platforms, you get new and different eyes on your items. So I also sell a little bit on Grailed, a little bit on Facebook. 
Etsy. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. But Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay are my main ones. And then probably Etsy would be next. So definitely check it out. And if not, they're ah, Bolo video here, Bolo video here, subscribe here. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.